artificial intelligence nowadays, as I said before, is mainly machine learning. And machine learning works the other way around. So what we did previously is we had some observation of reality data, and then we had an algorithm uh, recipe, right? The algorithm is basically, you know, the way of doing things, a recipe, and the recipe could be used to nudge you, for example, to nudge you to a, a specific outcome. And that would be the traditional, that would be the traditional way to go about it. Now, what machine learning does is it turns it around. We have the data in a social network, for example, we have you know, people and they're your friends and, and, and the content. Um, and then we have the goal output. Well, what's the goal output of a social media company? Well, it's a company. So per definition, per definition, it needs to make money, period. You now that's, that's the definition of a company. So it needs to make profit. So it wouldn't make profit, it couldn't sustain itself as a company. So that's well, very generally, I mean, Senator, uh, we run ads. And then the master algorithm, as Pedro Dominguez calls it, the machine learning algorithm tells us, well, what is the best way to combine you, your friends, and all the content into making profit? So that's what the machine learning algorithm actually figures out. Now, Sometimes that is then we have to see like what, what is the algorithm actually doing? And I showed you some examples before when that can go astray. So we have to look basically inside this algorithm that combines, Senator, we run ads, ads and profits with social dynamics. And that led to a new field of study that I'm also involved in. That's the study of machine behavior because it's not really clear what these algorithms do. And if these algorithms are really aligned, talking about AI alignment, a term we will come back to later, alignment with, with what we actually are looking for. So to cite a recent study, today's social algorithms are so complex that looking at the algorithms will not yield much insight because the interplay of social algorithms and behaviors yield patterns that are fundamentally emergent. These patterns cannot be gleaned from reading code. So even the people who write the code won't understand what the algorithm does. And even if you have the code, you understand what it does. Why? Because the algorithm interacts with social reality. So the input is the social dynamics and the goal you give it, and then the algorithm mixes this together. So you, you cannot predict really from the code alone what happens. You also would need to know everything that happens right now with all the humans and the people. Now, how can you then basically study what these social algorithms do? Well, you study them like you study humans. Uh, you run them through a lab. So you basically audit them. So we cannot certify that an AI agent is ethical by looking at its source code. Any more than we can certify that humans are good by scanning their brains. All we can do is we can study their behavior. And that leads to the field of, of algorithmic audits. And that's what we do. We run these algorithms to a lab, through a lab and then see, well, how do they behave in this and this and in this condition and that condition. And that's an entire new field that will, in the decades to come, need a lot, a lot of attention in order to understand better what, what our social algorithm, this mix between social dynamics and, and algorithmic dynamics, what they produce, talking about algorithmification of this social dynamic.